I'm on a mission. We've had about a week of weather with temperatures down in the, the 20s at night and in the 40s during the day. Well, there was one day that we didn't get out of the 20s and a couple of days that stayed in the 30s. Guess what the temperature is today? Right now, oh, the sun's shining on my back. It feels so good. Right now, it is 70 degrees. Yes, I am on a mission. My mission today is to pick my rose hips. They say that they're best after, best picked after frost. And we definitely have that. So I'm going to go ahead and start picking. Okay. I have a lot of them here to pick. And no, I'm not going to have you have to watch me pick every single one of them. Just know that I'm picking them. And I'll come up with some recipes. Last year I made syrup. I don't know what I'll make this year, but I'll decide. Okay. I'll go ahead and pause this and come back in a little bit after I've got a lot of them picked. quite a few. I just worked that one section uh, there that I kind of showed you with the camera earlier. I didn't go all, I, I got all, pretty much all that one side. I didn't go around the corner because that part was on gravel and I didn't have my shoes on. So I'm going to save that for tomorrow because Picking those is a tedious task, just to let you know. And then tomorrow I'll come out with some shoes and, oh, presuming it isn't raining or anything, come out with some shoes and get that one side that's on the gravel. And that's a way smaller area than what I just did today. And then I also need to go inside the yard and do all the ones that are inside the fence. And then I'll pretty much have them all. So I'm going to look and find some recipes. Last year I made um, syrup. I combined it with something else and I can't remember what. Might have been strawberry. I don't know. Anyway, I made some syrup. But I think I might want to make some jam. I know that's, or jelly, actually, I should say. I know that's a, a wee bit more difficult task. But with this, the rose hips, you kind of have to do this task anyway, and that is um, squeezing all the innards out. Well, as you could hear, that was the doorbell. It was just my husband. The, uh, the doorbell we had quit working, so he went out today and bought a new doorbell, and every time he goes through the door, he likes ringing it. <laughs> Go figure. A new toy, right? The doorbell. Anyway, it has an, I think it has another song to it, but he likes that song, so that's what we're listening to. He rigged it up on all of the... I know some... Okay, I just did a half of a sentence there. Sometimes we have people come to the door, and we just have people come to our back door, not our front door. But he put a button on the front door just in case. Because once in a while in the summer, people don't read the little sign on the, on the gate to the yard that says, please use the other door. Anyway, people use the back door. Because it isn't fenced in, it's just you can get to it easy. But sometimes people just want him, and he's usually out in his man cave, which is in the garage. 
And so he, he rigged up a doorbell for out there too, but he put the button right on the inside of my back door so that if someone comes to the back door, they ring my doorbell, I go to the doorbell and they want him. I have a little button right inside the, my door that all I have to do is push it and magically he appears because he hears it out in his man cave, even though they didn't ring that doorbell. <laughs> they just rang my doorbell. So, oh, I got off track from my, from my rose hips, didn't I? Anyway, I'm going to pause this video and go look up some recipes and then kind of let you know what I plan to do. I'm not sure that today I'm actually going to show you how to do it, because I want to wait until after I've picked all of the rest of the rose hips and then I will put together a video showing you how I do whatever it is that I'm going to do. But what I want to add to this video today is my research on some ideas as to what I might want to do with my rose hips. And I would solicit some comments from you all, those of you who process rose hips and do things with them. What do you do with your rose hips? And I know not everybody does anything with rose hips, but they're full of vitamin C. I might leave all of those statistics too so that you see how good they are for you. Well, be right back. It will be a while for me, but for you, it's just going to be a second. So see you in a minute. Okay, I realize this is kind of small, but it will be in the description. <clears throat> There's rosehip jelly, rosehip tea, rosehip freezer jam, recipes, a, a, a page that has a lot of recipes, a couple of pages that have a lot of recipes, and syrup. So, be on the lookout for my video in a day or so. I can't tell you exactly when because I'm just not that organized to let you know exactly when it's going to be. But in a day or so, where I show you how I do whatever I decide to do. I may pick something off of one of those lists that I put in the description, or I may come up with something else entirely. <laughs> so you will just have to have your curiosity piqued and come back for that video. And I'll make sure that you know which video it is by putting something clearly in the name of the video and in my in my video thumbnail so that you know what you're looking for. So today was the process of harvesting at least part of them. After I get the rest of them harvested, then I will make this second video and post it as separate from the one that you're watching right now. So go out and enjoy your your weather if it's nice. Bundle up and enjoy it if it's cold. Stay inside if it's rainy and icky. <laughs> Outside right now, our temperature has gotten clear up to 73 degrees. I'm almost wondering if the stuff inside of my plastics are getting too warm, but I think probably they're all right. Because if I uncover them a bit then I just have to go back out and cover them back up and it will get coldish again tonight. Not as cold. I don't think it got below freezing last night. The first night for a, at least a week that it hasn't. But nevertheless I'm excited to show you my video about rose hips. Also be on the lookout for some future videos for some of the things in the last video I posted before this one, I told you to talk to me about what you wanted me to show you. And I got 
several ideas of things that I'm going to make videos about. So be on the watch out for some of those. They're coming. The best way you can help this channel is to like, to share, share on your social medias. Make sure you're subscribed. Hit the notification bell and comment. That helps YouTube to know that I'm an okay channel, and I hope I am. I know I watch enough videos to know that my videos aren't aren't any worse than a lot of others that I watch and video channels that have tons of subscribers. So I know that I'm capable of having a lot more subscribers. That will only happen if you help me. And I've got some other things that I'm working on that will help me do that too. And I might even make a video about that at some point in the future. For right now, I need you to realize that the good Lord richly blesses you. I will see you on the video about what I do with my rose hips next in a few days. Bye.